Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 2 and today we are going to talk about Mañana Land. This book is written by, was written by Pam Munoz Ryan and it is a middle grade. It is a wonderful, wonderful story and I tried to recreate the cover during this video. So Mañana Land is the story about Max, and Max is a young kid who loves stories, especially the legend of Buelo, that tells him about a mythical gatekeeper who can guide brave travelers on a journey into tomorrow. If Max could see tomorrow, he wouldn't know if he'd make, make Santa Maria celebrate a football team, and whether he'd ever met his mother, who disappeared when he was a baby. He longs to know more about her, but Papa won't talk. So when Max uncovers a buried family secret involving an underground network of guardians who let people flee in a neighbor, neighboring country to safety, he decides to seek answers on his own. So as always, I'm going to have a list of all the materials that I used in the description box below. But as you can see, I used uh, a lot of my um, Crayola Super Tips. Um, for the outline, I used the Pigma Micron 03. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I used. Peminos Ryan is the author of Esperanza Rising. I read that one last year and this year I wanted to read something else from this author and I was not disappointed. This is one of the best middle grades that I've read so far and I can't wait to read more from this author. I will have um, uh, all of her information also down below with a list of other books that, um, that she wrote and I intend to read a lot more from, from this author and this is just one of those stories that um, you just don't know, didn't know that you needed them. It is there's so much mystery surrounding Max's mother, and but um, you realize through the um, the book that her decisions were uh, she was just making decisions out of fear to protect um, her family, and um, it is just. It is heartwarming, um, and it is sad, and it's just, like I said, the story that I didn't know I needed at that moment, and I highly recommend. This is, like I said, a middle grade, so if you um, are looking for something um, that is in that age range, you know, or, or if you want to recommend it to younger kids, it is a beautiful, beautiful book to read.
So I listened to this uh, story on audiobooks through Hoopla using my library. And um, as I was listening, I wanted to make sure that I was writing down um, anything that I thought was interesting and um, any quotes that I wanted to remember from from the story. But more than anything, um, this the story was bringing up a lot of feelings. So I wanted to make sure that I was logging all of that um, as I was listening to. That's why on the left side, you can see there was a, a lot of writing because that was basically all of my feelings, all of the specific quotes that I wanted to remember. There's one specific quote. So the quote is, I'm holding Manana land in my hands. And um, this is a, uh, something that has um, his dad, Ma Max's dad, said to him, um, you know, it, trying to explain to him that Mañana Land is not a place, that he cannot go there and try to find his mom, but it is actually more of a, a state of mind. Um, it's not somewhere where you can go, but like, it's where you will find peace with yourself. It's where you would be, tomorrow will be where they don't have to worry about being found and abused and discriminated. So it it is just talking about, you know, not actually going anywhere, but finding a home even where they're at, staying in the same place where they're at. And it is such a beautiful moment in the story. Anyway, I'm ho I hope I'm making sense trying to describe this book because even though I read this book back in May just talking about it right now brings up emotions in me I am getting emotional right now just thinking about um this story so I highly highly recommend that you read this if if you're interested um and yeah that is the book for vlogmas day two So this is another favorite of uh, another favorite read of 2021 and um like I said yesterday I am looking to do a d separate video every day for uh Vlogmas featuring a favorite read of the year. Um we'll see how many we get to do in December. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you do, um give me a like uh let me know in the comments if you have a favorite read for this year and that is it thank you so much for watching and at the end i will show you the uh final result the final uh cover and the original cover at the end so you guys can compare them all right thank you and we'll see you in the next one